Amen. Amen. Does anybody want to stand and honor the Lord with a song or a testimony before we get into the Word of God tonight? Anybody at all? <laughs> Amen. 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 What a testimony. Anybody else tonight with a song or testimony before we get going? Amen. Amen. Anybody else? Anyone at all? Amen. Amen. He sure is good to us, church. Anybody else before we get going? Bless your heart. Amen. Amen. Anyone else tonight with a song or testimony on their heart? Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. We're glad you're back. Anyone else tonight before we get into the Word of God? <laughs> Anybody else tonight? All right. Well, if all hearts and minds are clear, we're going to be in Psalm chapter 145 tonight. Psalm chapter 145. Booyah. Has the Lord been good to you this week, church? Amen. He's been good to me. Ah, I'm thankful for all that He's done and all that He's meant to me. All that He, all that he does for me and all that He's allowed me to do. I'd be lying to you if I told you I wasn't tired tonight. Heavy hearted. I, it's been a long week. It's been a challenging week. It's been a tiring week. But I'm thankful that I can come to the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. If you're in Psalm chapter 145, since y'all didn't fellowship, we're going to go ahead and stand. Yeah. I thought you were getting out of it tonight. No. Lord, no. Psalm chapter 145. When you're there, go ahead and say Amen. Amen. Starting in verse 1, and he says, I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. 
Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of, thy might, of the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness, and shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee, and they shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power. Let's pray tonight. Heavenly Father, Lord, we're just thankful for who you are, God, what you've done for us. Lord, we're thankful, God, that you've allowed us to come to your house to worship you in spirit and truth. God, and I pray, uh, Lord, that you'd help us to, to get up and, and get out of the way, Lord, and I pray that you would get in the way. I pray, uh, Lord, that you'd help us not to tarry here too long, but God, Lord, that you would just have your way, Lord, in every word. I pray, God, that every word that comes out of my mouth tonight would not be of my own might, my own will, but God, Lord, that you would speak through me. God, I pray. Lord, that we would remember, God, all that you've done for us, Lord, and look around and see the goodness that surrounds us in this life. Lord, I, th I thank you for who you are. God, you've been so good. God, search us. Lord, forgive us of every shortcoming, every fault, every failure. God, we know we fall short, but Lord, uh, Lord, your grace and mercy is always, always there for us. Lord, and we're thankful. God, have your way tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Um, like I said, I'm tired tonight. I... I don't feel chipper, I guess, is that, if, if that's the word I want to go for. I don't feel like I could take a lap around the church unless the Holy Ghost got a hold of me. Um, but I, I feel tired. I feel exhausted. I feel weak. I, feel, I just feel so lagsadaisical, I guess, is the word I want to go with. And, you know, when, when you're tired and when you feel that way, it's so easy to just look around and see, you know, everything that's going wrong in your life, Right? It's so easy to look around and say, well, I'm tired, so this part of my life's not going good. And since this part of my life's not going good, that part of life's not going good. And it almost just seems like it's a cycle. And it almost just seems like one thing after another, after another, after another. And it just seems like they pile on top of each other. And, but I got to thinking today as I was studying and, and asking God what he would have me to preach. Uh, he, he, he told me, he said, he said just look around. Look at what God's done. And I feel like so many times in this life we, we get to the point where uh, all we want to focus on is the bad. And all we want to focus on is the, uh, the ugly and the disgusting and, and the bad things that are going on in life. But we fail to look around and look at what God has done for us recently. Uh, and uh, a perfect example would be uh, I didn't feel like getting up out of bed today. And uh, when I got up out of bed, I, I was almost late to class. And it just seems like domino after domino after domino continued to fall. Uh, but then I looked around and said, you know what? God I said this might be the last nice day of the year uh, it could start raining tomorrow it could get cold tomorrow God I'm thankful for the day that you've given me I'm thankful uh, for what you have surrounded me with the friends uh, that you've put around me the family that you put around me the things that I can look around and say God I'm so thankful for what you've done and, I, and this, this passage of scripture came to my mind and in verse 1 he says I will extol thee my God, O oh King, uh, how many of you have fallen short in praising God over these past couple days since you heard the message about praising God? I'll go ahead and raise my hand. I have fallen short of my praise. Uh, and my message, or my mind goes back to the message uh, that Dad preached the other day about, about uh, we need to praise God more. And that word extol, all that word means is to praise exceedingly exceedingly when even when you don't feel like praise church even when you forget to praise God good remember think back to what God's done for you he said I will extol thee my God O King and I will bless thy name forever and ever 
He said, every day will I bless thee and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Church, I believe that there is never a day, uh, there is never a time that you can look around you and say, I have nothing to praise God for. I, I, I don't believe that there's ever a time in this life where you could make an excuse and it be valid enough for you not to praise God. I believe that every single day of this life, no matter what is going on around you, I believe that there is something to be thankful for. There is something to be happy about. There is something to thank the Lord for. He has been so good. Amen. He, uh, uh, one thing you could think of for is getting up out of bed this morning. Another thing you could think of, hey, some of you are old, church. You should be thankful that God's given you another day. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be uh, uh, dark or anything like that. But, I mean, I could be thankful for another day. I'm not guaranteed another day. Uh, that's something to be thankful for. I, I could be thankful for uh, the ability to, to, to come to church. Hey, if that's not something to be thankful for, you probably don't have anything to be thankful for. Church, that is something to be excited about. Something to be thankful for that we can come to the house of God. He said, every day will I bless thee and I will praise thy name forever and ever. But then he goes on and he says, great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Uh, you, hear that, you hear that verse quoted a lot. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And church, he is great. Now, I, I believe he deserves to be greatly praised. I believe that he deserves uh, to be abundantly praised, to be extolled, to be exceedingly praised. But then he goes on and he says, his greatness is unsearchable. And I thought about that for a second. I said, God, why wouldn't you want your greatness to be searchable? Why wouldn't you want us to see your greatness? But then, uh, but then I realized what the writer was trying to say here. He wasn't saying that his greatness was unsearchable in the fact that you couldn't look around and find it. He was saying that his greatness was unsearchable in the fact that you can never find everything that he has been great to you for. Man, y'all are quiet tonight. Y'all must be tired. Hey, church, can I promise you on the authority of God's word that when you think that you found everything that you can to be thankful for, there is always something else to be thankful for. His greatness is unsearchable. So you know, that blessed me when I read that today. His greatness is unsearchable. Hey, even when life is on the mountaintop and things are going good and things are going dandy, I can look out and say, God, I can name everything that you've done for me, but there are still some things that I can be thankful for that I don't even know about. On your way to church. How many of you ever been driving and you just got so upset because you got stuck behind a tractor going 10 miles an hour? Yeah, I tell you what, I'm the worst at it. I got bad road rage, and I'll be the first one to tell you. I get stuck behind a tractor. I'm swerving over, seeing if I can pass him. I'm, I'm trying to find the shortcut or a back road that I can take. But think about this for a second. Think about this. Think about it. When Moses and, his, and the children of Israel were at the, the, red, or the sea, and, and God told them, what did he say? He said, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And, and, and so many times in life we, we get to this fast pace, we get to this fast paced living and we, we, uh, we want to go, go, go and go. But then God slows us down a little bit, right? You get stuck behind that tractor and you get all mad and you get irritated. And hey, maybe God is just trying to slow you down to remind you that there are more important things than getting to McDonald's at a decent time. I tell you what, I can't name the number of times that I've been going to get food and got stuck. I was hungry and started throwing a fit. But listen to me, church. Listen to me. Listen to me. Maybe God is protecting you from something. Right? God's slowing you down because there's something up ahead that you, he doesn't want you to get into. You ever thought about that? Maybe God is trying to stop you from going one way because he knows what lies ahead at that path. That's something to be thankful for. That's something that is great. His greatness is unsearchable. 
You can't name everything that he's done. You can't look and say, I know everything that he's done for me. Even when life is in the valley, church, you can still look and say, God, your greatness is unsearchable. Even when I have nothing or when I feel like I have nothing to be thankful for, I can look and say, God, there are still so many things that I can thank you for. Your greatness is unsearchable. He said, one generation shall praise thy works to another and shall declare thy acts. And, and my mind went back to that. that uh, it's a form of literature. I can't, I can't think of what it's called, but it, it, it passes down from generation to generation. And I got to thinking about it. And, you know, um, a lot of things that we hear in the Bible, they've been passed down to us, right? But think about this, church. There's going to be things where people look back at your life and say, I remember what God did for them. I, I remember what God did for Jim Griffith when he healed him. I remember what God did for Sister Evie uh, when she lost her son. I remember how good God was to her. I remember that when Jeff lost his mother, that he still came to church and he still praised God because his greatness was so unsearchable that he had nothing better to do than praise God. Church, God's greatness is so good that it will live on forever and ever and ever and ever. And when the world falls apart, people will look back and remember and say, I remember how good God was, how good God is, and how good He is always going to be. When you, when you go through life and, and, and things start, start looking down, you can look back and say, God, I remember what you've brought me through. God, I remember uh, what you brought me out of. David said, you took my feet out of the miry pit, out of the, out of the filth and out of the disgustingness. And he says, you set my feet on a solid rock and established my goings. Amen. Church, we can look back and say that we can praise God because of what he's done for us. We can declare his mighty acts. He said, I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous works. How many of you has God done something good for you today? Yeah, go ahead and raise your hand. I believe God did something good for me today. Hey, I, I may not know what it is yet, and I may have to get back with you on it, but I believe that God did something good for me today. I believe that you can say that every single day of your life. You can say that God has done something good. And he says, and men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness and shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great Mercy. How many of you ever done something that, man, the Lord should have just probably struck you down? Yeah, I tell you, I'll be, I'll be the first one to tell you there's plenty of things that I can look back and say, God, why didn't you get more mad at me for that? God, why didn't you punish me for that? God, why didn't you, why didn't you do something because of what I did? Uh, but, but then I read this verse, remember, he's slow to anger. Church, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that the God of this universe, the God that created everything, that created you and me, is slow to anger. Because if he wasn't, I'm telling you, I would be, I, I tell you what, I'd be taken out to the woodshed more times than I can count. Uh, I mean, I would, I, 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 God is such a good God that he's so slow to anger and his, his mercy is so great and his compassion is so great that he loved you so much that he says, you know what, even when you make a mistake, even when you fall short sometimes, he says, I'm not going to get mad. He says, but if you're genuine and you, and you seek forgiveness and you seek my love, he said, I will show you compassion and grace. He said, the Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. He said, the Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all of his works. Church, I believe that God has been good to me. I believe that he's been good to you. And I believe that you can look around, church, and you can see everything that God's created. And you can see the birds. You can see the trees. You can see uh, this building. You can look and you can see and say, you know what? God has had his mercy in every single thing. Church, this church 
probably shouldn't even be here, if I'm being honest with you. But God's mercy has allowed it to be here. Church, I, if I'm being honest with you, should not be here tonight. But because of God's mercy, He allowed me to be here. And truth is, church, and you may get mad at me for this, but you probably should not be here tonight. But God's mercy is so great that He's allowed you to be here because He loved you. He said, in all thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. Uh, my mind thinks about the trees when the wind blows and how they just flap back and forth, praising God because of what he's done. Uh, when the Bible says that if no one else will cry out, the Bible says that the rocks and the trees would cry out. Church, do you really want a tree to praise God for you? Imagine, imagine standing before God and him bringing up and saying, Hey, remember that time that you refused to, to, to stand up and give me praise on a Wednesday night service because of how good that I was that I had to have the tree cry out and praise me because you refused. Think about that tonight, church. I, I don't want to stand before God and have to give an account because I refused to give him praise. But he says, all thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power. Church, I believe that God's glory is something that I will never be able to wrap my mind around. I believe that. I, I don't think my mind could ever understand, fully understand how good that God has truly been to me. I don't believe that my mind could, could wrap around the idea of how, how much mercy God has intertwined into my life. I don't believe I could ever grasp how much that God has truly had a hand in everything that I've done. But I believe that he has. And my mind may never be able to, to fully appreciate it like it should. But I want to give everything that I've got trying. And, and I tell you what, church, this uh, praise has been so heavy on my heart this week. And I believe that, you know, I, as a church that, you know, and Dad talked about it on Sunday, but I believe that praise is something that the church really does lack. And I, and I don't know why, but God put this on my heart, and I know I didn't preach long, but I, I want to give us another opportunity to praise the Lord tonight. And we're going to start, I want Kenny to come up, and I want her to sing, He's All That I Need. And that's just, that's how I want to end it tonight. That's, that's what God's put on my heart, church. I just, I want to praise the Lord tonight, okay? And so you can turn the live stream off if you want to. I don't care, but uh, let's just praise the Lord here for a little bit, okay? And she's going to sing that song. And then if you've got a testimony, you can go ahead and stand up. If you've got a song, you come up and sing it. Uh, but let's, let's just praise the Lord tonight, church, because he has been so good to us. Trouble he caught in the storm. 